Hey everybody, it's Eric. Welcome back to the channel. I found a really interesting zero DTE indicator uh, that I've been using to help with my forest trading. If you don't know what that is, I've got a couple of videos. I'll put one of the videos below where basically I'm looking for, uh, you know, a certain bias for the day or reversals. And that way I can sell premium or sell, let's say a credit spread. And then as the market moves in my favor, I can then turn it into a iron fly or butterfly and lock in those gains for a risk free trade. Again, I'll put a link to a risk free trade video, but one of the indicators that I've been kind of looking at is this net flow premium indicator for SPX. And I want to go through just today's action. Today's June 5th. We're just before the market closed and it was a pretty volatile day. Uh, SPX, I think we actually gapped up this morning. We sold off, we rallied, we sold off, and now it's it kind of, you know, pretty much a downtrend uh, for the rest of the day. You see, we got up to 6,000 and now we're looking to close around 59. The interesting thing about this particular premiums indicator is it shows the zero day to expiration premium. You can see I have it on June 5th. I'm only looking at the out of the money options. Those tend to be a little bit more um, accurate, I, I would say. And what we're looking for is not necessarily if the premium is spiking red or spiking green. We're really just looking for points of exhaustion and just spikes in general. So for example, the market sold off this morning. Um, you know, I don't like to put a lot of faith in the opening 30 minutes, but basically we got a lot of, you know, some spikes here that sparked a reversal. We did get a spike here. It did continue higher. So I, I kind of think this is probably more accurate for later in the day. And as the market um, got to new highs on the day, was hitting new highs uh, just before the lunch hour, we did get a, a small spike here. Market did sort of trade sideways. We got another spike and then we kind of came down. As we came down into uh, let's call it double bottom support from the opening low, we got some spikes and then that prompted uh, a little bit of a rally. We rolled over, got more spikes, a rally, rolled over, got more spikes, and then a rally. So this isn't a super clean like signal, if you will. You still need to, you know, use some other analysis about finding support, resistance, or particular levels you're looking at. We did find support in the 59, I think it was 59.50 area. So that kind of makes sense. This is just something I've been tracking to find reversal points to leg into those spreads and lock in those gains so we can create those risk-free spreads that we're talking about. See you in the next video.